Hi, this is Kathy from Lady Stamp a Lot, and I recently had Lynn from Queensland, Australia, contact me about these cards she saw on my blog. These were posted back in March when the um, colors were retiring. These are the old in colors from Stampin' Up. And um, she asked me about how to make it, and it's so super simple that I thought I'd show you. And um, let's get started. So you can take a piece of cardstock, a, a half a sheet of cardstock, uh, eight and a half by five and a half. Fold it in half. This is elegant eggplant. And then you can take another sheet of uh, very vanilla or whisper white cardstock, cut a little bit smaller. I cut mine at four by five and a quarter. So we're going to take the um, vanilla piece and we're going to use the Thinlets Rose, Wonder, Rose Garden Thinlets from Stampin' Up. And as you can see, I um, copy my Thinlets and make magnetic sheets for them to stay on when I'm not using them. It's a great way to store them. I do have a video about that if you look on my um, YouTube channel. We're going to take the largest of the flowers and we're going to bring in the big shot. Now Stampin' Up! recommends the precision base plate when using this die. I have found that the magnetic platform works fine. Um, if you have trouble with yours, you might want to try the um, precision base plate. So this is just going to go on here, down in the corner, tilt it in the corner, but do make sure all the pieces are going to cut on the paper. Alright, so we're going to run that through the big shot, and once it's through, I like to go back again. This gives it an extra time, a um, little bit more pressure to get it to cut. Alright. Now I'm going to bring in the Big Shot die brush. And when you get the die brush, you'll get this foam with it. That's not packing material, you need that. So you're going to take your piece that you just cut. And lay it over here, and the little bristles, you're going to rub across the die, and they poke into the little holes that are in the die, and help release all those little pieces. Okay, and if there's any pieces that are still in there, I find they come out pretty easily with just my fingers. You want to make sure you get them all. It's always one or two that don't want to come out. Okay, there you go. Now you can see where this came out of here. So this you want to keep, and we're just going to snip off the ends. I like to do it in a little curve. There. That's trash there. Okay, so this is going to be on your card where you, with your greeting. And I am going to use the Rose Wonder stamp set by Stampin' Up. Um, this is just a really nice set. It has sympathy, wedding, birthday, thank you also has verses or words for the inside of your cards and I just really love that font. Um, just really a nice set. Lots of choices that you can do. But we're, we're going to do the With Sympathy and I'm going to use the same color ink as my card which is Elegant Eggplant and because it's a photopolymer stamp I'm going to use the Stampin' Up! piercing mat. It's a, it's a cushion. It's going to give us a nice image if we use this under our cardstock. 
So because Stampin' Up! inks are very juicy, we just need to tap, tap, tap lightly. And you can see exactly where you're stamping, because you can see right through. And you're just going to touch lightly, but hold it there. I find this is the trick with the photopolymer. Let the ink have time to release off onto the paper. Okay, so I'm pull that up. All right, to take the silicone sheet from Stampin' Up and put some adhesive around the edges. I like just using snail, you can use whatever you want. The silicone sheet's going to protect your paper so that you don't get um, sticky spots and also that we can get all the way to the edge of the card and get everything to stick. All right. So just going to take this, your card front. I think Mr. Brown just delivered my Stampin' Up! order. I'm so excited. And that's there. Now the piece of the flower is just going to get glued right back in there, just like a puzzle. Now, this is the tricky part, maybe. I don't know. Here's the silicone sheet again. Silicone, whatever. We take the fine tip glue pen from Stampin' Up. That bugs me. And start uh, very thin dots of glue all around. Very thin. You don't want it to spread onto your card. My favorite saying with my preschoolers is dot, dot, not a lot. And I've learned to say that with my stampers as well. Go all around the card or all around this piece, this flower, especially the edges. I might have had a little bit too much, so I'm just going to dab it down there. All right. Now I'm going to put this back in, doing my best to get it down right on one try so it doesn't smear. And then take the glue, the, the bottom part that's not gluey, and just lay that on there. That is going to help it to adhere to the card base. Especially if you don't have a lot of glue, it doesn't dry right away. And it's just enough pressure to keep it in contact with the cardstock. That's basically it. The glue pen, you want to get this capped right away. And this little... Um, there's like a little needle thing in here that has to go into this part. And I do like to keep mine laying on the side. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but so far it hasn't got clogged. So that's the card. It's just drying. I'm going to show you. It's just super simple and very, very elegant. So Lynn, thanks for asking to see this. And if you have any more questions, please contact me through my blog, email, or my Stampin' Up! website. Thanks for stopping by.